how to build a simple auto jukebox. You start off with a dropper, place it underneath you, facing upwards like that. Then you place another dropper on top of it, facing out to the side. Then on the face of this is where you place your jukebox. And then you need a hopper underneath the jukebox so the discs will go back into the loop after they are done being played. If you use every single disc, music disc, as of 1.21, it'll fill up both droppers and one disc will go into the hopper there. So that is 19 music discs. Now to make this fully automatic, you only need two observers and one piece of redstone dust. So the redstone dust you place there at the back of it, and then you need two observers underneath here, but they have to be placed specifically this one has to be facing upwards at the hopper. So you want to place your crosshair on the underside while crouching. You have to be crouching. Let's place on the underside right there so it's facing upwards. If you're playing on Bedrock Edition, you'll have to get almost directly underneath the hopper in order to place the observer facing upwards because Bedrock Edition is way less forgiving about placing observers in a vertical position. What? 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 Oh my goodness. And then the next one you place under there facing that direction. So that way it'll power this block and then power the redstone dust, which once that's powered will directly power this block and indirectly power this. So that way items will move up through both of them just to keep the loop going. And also, since this is directly powered, this will be indirectly powered, which will then trigger the observer again to continue that redstone signal loop until a disc is playing. Because once that's playing, it locks this, so then the signal from that doesn't update this, so then thus the loop stops. Now that you've got it built, to start the, the chain of it infinitely playing discs, you have to put one in manually. And there you go. Now as soon as that finishes playing, it'll automatically get detected, send a signal there, and trigger the next one. So always the previous disc will always get held in here. So there's zero chance of it ever playing the exact same disc two times in a row. And actually the soonest you might hear the same disc get played again is after three other discs. So every fourth disc has a very small chance of being like a repeat that just played recently. So that's one in 81 chance that you'll even get a repeat disc after four discs. That'll just continue to play infinitely forever. If you want to stop it, you can place a lever on the jukebox itself. And then if you power that, it will lock the machine from playing another song after the current song finishes.